Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cheryl and Waylon, and we're here to talk to you about tides today. It's beginning to be summertime, and everybody's going to be going to the beach and going swimming and having a great time in the oceans, and we just want to talk about tides just a little bit today. Waylon, there are two kinds of tides. What are they? High tide and low tide. High tide and low tide. Waylon, do you know how much of our Earth's surface is covered in water? 70%. About 70%. So, we, when we um, have a whole day and night, that means that we have 12 hours of daytime and 12 hours of nighttime. And what do we see out at nighttime? We, there, it's darkness, and what gives us light at nighttime? The moon. The moon does. So, when the moon and the earth kind of come close together, there is a gravitational pull, and that means that gravity pulls on it. Well, do we ever lose the water that we have on our earth? No, you've learned from the water cycle that that water goes round and round and round again, right? So, we always have the same water on our earth that we had from the very beginning, but that moon has helped with the gravitational pull and the water that is right up under the moon is pulled in, 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 by the gravitational pull. Now, we're just going to show you just a little bit and way you can do this part if you want to. Take the balloon and you're going to put pressure on the balloon and you see how the water, you got it? You see how the water moves up? Let it come back down. Look where my finger is now. All right, push on it, Waylon. Look at that water, how far it's risen. And that's exactly how our tides do. Okay, let it go down one more time. There you go. One more time. Push. Gravitational pull. All right. And the high tide comes up. So, how many tides do we have? Two. We have two tides. High tide and low tide. So, Waylon, on when it's nighttime on this side of the earth, what is it on this side of the earth? Daytime. It's daytime. And... When, when our earth moves around, rotates, then we have high tide on one side and low tide on the other. And it just flip-flops as the earth rotates. All right. So, learn more about the low tides before you go to the beach and then tell somebody while you're at the beach. You can tell when it's low tide because the water will be back away from the beach. When it's high tide, the water will be high up on the beach. All right? What's the thing we're going to remember to do, Waylon? Show everybody. Wash your hands two birthday songs. Wash your hands two birthday songs. Everybody stay safe and everybody take care. And I hope to see you soon. We love each one of you and we'll see you soon.